SMS Azania on 31702. It's 27 minutes to two and joining us in studio is the absolutely remarkable, absolutely amazing and gorgeous <laughs> Mephelisha Mabuza Sattel. What a privilege to have you here. Thank you very much for having me, Azania. You are beautiful, <laughs> I must say. And guess what? I do use Clinique to wash my, to oh, clean really? up my face, to cleanse my face. So, and you want to see my lipstick? It is clean. As well. Okay, yeah. so this speaks to the brands <laughs> that you support. Uh, but I do also use oil of delay to stay young. Delay <laughs> is the operative word. You know, <laughs> even looking through the book and looking at your images over the years, uh-huh. it's like you have some elixir of youth somewhere. Oh, thank secret you. Thank that you. It just has sustained you over the years. How do you do it? What's the secret? I think the secret is just living a life that is fulfilled in many ways. I was saying to somebody, I really believe we need to know when you've had enough. I have had everything I have dreamed I wanted to to have in life. And I'm at a point right now where I'm taking that success that is self-empowerment to significance, Mm -hmm. helping empower others. Robin Sharma says, his father said to him, son, when you were born, you cried and the world rejoiced. Mm -hmm. Live your life in such a way that when you die, the world cries and you rejoice. I literally feel I'm living that life right now. And I believe that God is watching from above, looking at me and he's smiling. That's incredible. Uh, And it's a far cry from those early days because you were born, uh, you're you're from Soweto, you grew up Mm -hmm. there. Um, And in your first book, of course, you share your life, you know, leading to how you left the country Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. setting up uh, life in in the US. Mm -hmm. And that was also another winner, great inspiration, Dare to Dream. dream, So you've done it again with Live Your Dream. Here you set out to show how you did it, what kept you inspired. And I think live your dream is not, dare to dream was about my dream, as we, as you so aptly say. Live your dream is about your dream. I'm giving young people, women, even men for that matter, Mm -hmm. a roadmap based on how I interacted with people who had lived their dream, who were important as some would call it you look at the back of the book i look at my interaction with the pope mm-hmm. i feel blessed because i was touched by a pope who is now a saint being close to coming to close to my diva being able to sit at a dinner table with him hear his stories humility is what i learned from that ubuntu that's why we talk about ubuntu in the book as well Mm -hmm. bill clinton taught me that make everybody feel important at the time you're interacting with them i don't care how important the next person is who's coming to interact with you or or interrupt the uh, the the uh, uh the conversation, Mm -hmm. you just zero in, even if it's for 20 seconds with that person. Mm -hmm. Everybody feels important, so you have to make them feel important. The queen, touching the queen's hand, being able to get a comment from the queen for the show makes me feel regal. You can never tell me I'm not regal. I walk the part. I walk with passion, Mm -hmm. shoulders square, head up, right on you cannot stop me when i'm there but i smile the most important thing to always have is a smile so hillary clinton maybe she's going to be president who knows one day i might be president of some country (laughs) (laughs) but i love everybody who's running right now (laughs) in the u.s well it sounds like you believe in this new thing called the shine theory Uh as well about the company that you keep oh yeah that by being in certain company, you're also able to shine as a result. That's right. It makes me feel that I can be as good, if not better than them, if nothing else, by osmosis, <laughs> if I catch it by osmosis. <laughs> so that's why I say to people, take pictures with successful people. Ask them how they got there. Get close to them. Read their biographies because you are going to get something out there that's going to help you become 
who you want to be. I wanted to be somebody, and I know everybody wants to be somebody. So go and read the book. It is a roadmap to being somebody. Mm. Now, let's go back to that time then, because uh, is uh, are enough people dreaming? You talk about your dreams, living them, going after them. Mm-hmm. But... In, we also have to realize them. They can't just be things that we imagine or that we hope for. Mm-hmm. It's important. That's a great starting mm-hmm. point. Mm-hmm. But the point of realizing them and staying the course to where we want to get to. You know, there are four types of people. Those who watch things happen. Those who wait for things to happen. Those who wonder what in the heck happened. And those who make things happen. Use creative ways of ultimately realizing your dream. Because if you, Walt Disney says it, if you can conceive it, you can accomplish it in many ways, you can achieve it. So that's what I'm trying to say. If this girl from the dusty, daring, dangerous streets of Soweto can ultimately accomplish her dream. And, you, you know, you never really accomplish your dream until you go six feet deep, which is one thing Mr. Maponya always taught me, said you have to always achieve another goal after you have uh, started one. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's where I am right now. I, I do what I call achievable goals. Give you an example. Mm-hmm. As a little girl, I used to dream, visualize a lot that one day I want to live on the hill up in Northcliffe. I wanted a house that will overlook Drakensberg Mountains and I can see it from far. Mm -hmm. My father would drive us around those neighborhoods and we'd go and see these houses and I said to my sister, I'm going to live in one of those houses. And she said, what do you mean? In the back room, you mean? I said, no, 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 in the mansion itself. And it happened. I used to dream about living by the sea, being awoken by the by the waves, Mm. by the sound of the sea. And it happens in the U.S., in South Africa. What I'm trying to say here, Azania, is that you have to take that first step. And to young people, I say that first step is your education. Mm -hmm. Because if you have education, you can achieve anything you want. My daughter, Lindiwe, got her, her her BS degree and I, she said mom can you now leave me to go and do what I want to do I got a degree I said no 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 one more just one more after she got her MBA she sent me a text message I got your MBA I, it's now time for me to do what I want to do yes she's singing right now she's enjoying the stage but she knows how to market herself if you go on to um Twitter, you'll notice she's having a ball right now. They're touring Germany. Mm -hmm. My other daughter, Zanele, is following her passion. She wanted to have a tennis academy. As we speak right now, from New York to New Jersey to Atlanta to Miami, the, the, the academy has literally grown. But they had to get their education first. I just feel it is an anchor. And even Mandela tells us that you have to get your education. Yes. Mm -hmm. You mentioned saying to your sister that one day I'm going to live in that big house, not at the back and so on. But even in the book, you say that the theme throughout the book is that nothing should stop you from realizing your dreams, regardless of your circumstances. Mm -hmm. And this book espouses the principles of Ubuntu humanness. Mm -hmm. But when we look at along the way and... I remember in 1994, you know, I was in matric. Your show had Mm -hmm. been going on for two years and Mm -hmm. you started in 1992 Mm -hmm. and people loved you. Mm -hmm. And there were also people who criticized. Which is understandable. Who said, Mm -hmm. who does she think she Mm -hmm. is? Mm -hmm. What does she think she's Mm -hmm. trying, she's doing? So how do you then shut that out? How do you stay the course even when there are people deterring you from living your dream? You know, I sent out a tweet today about what you allow into your mind can either sink you or motivate you. Ironically, criticism motivates me. Criticism moves me to another level. Sometimes I say, bring it on, because I want to get that criticism to move me out of my apathy. Yeah. Um, the chapter is really, negaholics can stop you. I was saying to somebody, I came here with all the grand 
grand, grand illusions that I'm going to be accepted by all mm. South Africans. It did not happen that way. Mm. I found that white men were looking at me like, who the heck? And please excuse the generalization. There were, peop- there were others who did not. Who the hell is this American woman who's coming to sit at this negotiating table with me telling us what to do? And I thought, okay, the white women are going to accept me. White women are looking at me like, who the hell is this aggressive American woman in in her escada suits coming to tell us what to do when she should be somewhere in my house doing something else? And then I thought, okay, the black men are going to accept me. The black men are saying, wait a minute, who the hell is this one who is coming to question our customs, our polygamy, uh, What's the other one? Lobola. And one even said to me day before yesterday, and we're saying, who the hell is she going to marry an American when we are here? (laughs) So so I was not winning it either way. But then it was not me. It was the people talking in the audience. I just literally moved the mic and Mm -hmm. encouraged communication. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, black women are going to accept me. Oh, my gosh. What a shock to me. Mm -hmm. That was my toughest, those are my toughest critics, especially professional black women. That is why yesterday, a day before yesterday, I saw Dr. Zonke Majodeni wearing Felicia eyewear. I said, I never thought that professional women like you would want to wear it because yes, you, you all have airs and she <laughs> laughed and she said, no, we, I've seen many women. Some, then Mandla even told me that the mayor of Kimberley was wearing them. So we're getting to a point where we're beginning to appreciate each other more. Mm-hmm. When I see w- black women sitting together, especially all women in general, I will go to that table, interrupt them and and talk to them because we tend to want to not want to talk to each other. But the more we talk to each other, we'll create a better girls club as the boys have a boys club. But I want to see a boys and a girls club uh, coming about. But you, the youth, you, the youth are the ones who made me feel accepted in South Africa, even voting me uh, through the case 2000 study, uh, one of the top three role models with President Mandela. So I, I really appreciate that. That's really what happens. But mm-hmm. I affirm myself a lot. I, I wake up every morning. People like Beyonce, for example. Beyonce says before she goes on stage, she says, I am worthy. I'm deserving. I am blessed. I'm a diva. Divinely inspired, victoriously amazing girl she is. Mm-hmm. And I have literally started, I've always affirmed myself. I never leave the house without looking myself in the mirror, affirming myself at that point. In fact, I use my grandbaby or my glam baby's <laughs> affirmation because I am a glamour. Yeah. Glamour <laughs> being a glamorous, gorgeous, glorious grandma. <laughs> so, but anyway, it is I am bright, I am brave. I'm bold, I'm blessed, I'm beautiful. Tell me you are going to make me feel angry or you're going to get into my my negative space. I don't have a negative space if I've left the house feeling that way. Mm. It's interesting that you say that because I think South Africans, because we're so preoccupied with not appearing pompous, not appearing arrogant, we always defer to, uh, I don't want to say it's false humility, but we always uphold that. Mm-hmm. And I do recall during the course of uh, the time when you had the, the, the talk show mm-hmm. that people would say things like it's I and uh, um, mm-hmm. being affirmed. Mm-hmm. And it makes other mm-hmm. people feel mm-hmm. uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. You know, that's whoever it is problem. Mm-hmm. Serena Williams says, apart from her powerful tennis strokes, Affirmation is what helps it. And what's affirmation? Affirmation is about I. It's about how you feel about yourself. It's about positive self-talk. She says she sits there between games trying to figure out what her next strategy is, but telling herself, I am a winner. I'm going to win this match. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. In African culture, raroga. Mm-hmm. Is that it? Praise. Uh, praise, yeah. Mm-hmm. So is that not affirmation, people? Mm-hmm. Sometimes we hide under the word Ubuntu. When Ubuntu is all about telling us to affirm ourselves to be 
the greatest we can be. No one is going to tell you you are the greatest. Mm -hmm. You have to tell yourself. And that's why I wrote the book. That's why I write my book. Steve Marabali, is that how you pronounce it, says, if you are not a hero of your own story, then you are missing the whole point of your humanity. You have to write your own story. Um, Is it Harley Davidson who says, share your legacy. No one can tell your story better than you can. When writing your story, make sure you are the one holding your pen. No, it's clear, you are the one holding the pen. And I'm hoping you are going to start writing your story yeah. right now, writing your book, because you have a lot of young people who are following you, who admire you. Mm. Well, it's evident that affirmations are very, very important, and they have been instrumental in the success and the journey that you have traveled. Uh, I don't want to hog the conversation. I've got the book. I've been reading the book. <laughs> so what are your comments if you'd like to chat to my guest this afternoon? And that is Mefelisha Mabuza Sattel. She joins us today as we look at her book, Live Your Dream, which is currently available. It's 11 and uh, 31702 for your SMSs. The 702 Business Accelerator, in association with NetBank, enables businesses to get the support they need. I'm representing a company called Mr. Sandless. The program was very useful for a startup business. It provided us with a lot of basic information on systems and strategies and all the best. Is it time for you and your business to get some extra support? Visit 702.co.za and share your business story. You could be part of Business Accelerator and get the advice you need to accelerate your business. 702 Business Accelerator with NetBank. Make taking your business to the next level happen. Only on 702, your number one news and talk station.